Hello all and welcome back to our summer tutorial series on SAP Work Zone. I'm Yumna Vasi and I'm a product manager at SAP. Today in the third lesson of this series, I'll walk you through the workspaces in SAP Work Zone. If you've missed the previous lesson of the series, you can still go back and learn about the page builder experience in SAP Work Zone. And also do not forget to subscribe on the button below. Let's continue learning. We have already learned about workspaces as one of the most important building blocks which enable various use cases and provide citizen developers with a broad range of features, including content management, forums, and flexible page design. In this demo, let's deep dive into these workspace capabilities that empowers all users of the system, administrators, citizen developers, and regular users to create engaging experiences in SAP WorkZone. As explained in the previous demos, my role here is of Stephanie, Head of Customer Service Strategy at AirX. Firstly, let us start with looking at how Stephanie can create a new workspace. For this reason, she can go to the workspaces option and from here directly create a new workspace or go to the view all workspaces. Here she can see all her workspaces and click the new workspace to create a new workspace. From here, Stephanie can give a name to the workspace and a description for this new workspace. She can also set the workspace permissions. There are three types of workspaces. Firstly, the public workspace that can be joined and viewed by all community members. Secondly, the private workspace to which the community members need to be invited for participation and for viewing it. There's another type of workspace that can optionally be enabled. It is called as the external workspace through which Stephanie can work together with people from different companies who join the workspace as external users. She can just simply click here to create the new workspace. It is so easy to create a new workspace in SAP WorkZone. Moving forward, Stephanie is worried about the parental leave process and how she will be able to handle the long-term absence that's about to begin with her birth of her child. She also wants to know about how other parents in AirX combine parenting and a career. For this reason, she will enter the parental leave workspace available for employees at AirX. This workspace provides Stephanie with a one-stop shop experience around the parental leave topic with a combination of relevant self-services, information material, and community of other parents and HR experts at AirX. This overview page makes use of the no-code page design experience and cards and widgets which we have already discussed in the earlier demo. These overview pages are only accessible to the workspace members. For user interaction, Stephanie can go to the Feed Updates section, which provides a chronological feed view of comments, posts, and other user actions in this workspace. There is a forum section in the workspace that supports a very structured approach for user interaction. It can be accessed from Learn From Others, the Forums tab, from here, Stephanie can subscribe to the frequently asked questions, receive notifications on the activities of this forum topic, and also raise her own questions. When Stephanie wants to browse trending or recommended content within the workspace, she can check out the recommendation section. Here, she can see the new parental leave guidance, for example. Stephanie wanted more details related to managers who are going on parental leave at AirX. For this reason, she goes to the sub workspace here, which is dedicated to managers. Sub workspaces provide an even greater flexibility within workspaces. One level of sub workspaces is supported with independent membership, content, and feature control. Here, she can find relevant information and helpful recommendations. 
Furthermore, to exchange information with other users and also access the rich set of content provided from blogs, wikis, office documents, all the way to multimedia assets like videos, Stephanie can use the content section. This allows her to choose from various type of content. She can also create blog posts or wiki pages for rich text native content, or she can upload documents and other files directly to this section. This section provides the required capability on structuring and managing content within a workspace. There is also a knowledge base feature in SAP WorkZone that provides Stephanie with a form-based method of sharing knowledge with her workspace members. All knowledge base entries that she has access to will flow into the cross workspace knowledge base. Lastly, Stephanie wants to check the task management feature which allows her to track the key activities across workspace members. Here, she can see all her upcoming tasks. As she has already reviewed the new parental leave policy, she will mark the task as completed. Stephanie is not worried anymore as she found everything she wanted to know about parental leave in one single SAP WorkZone workspace. And not only that, she has also connected to community of fellow working moms and dads. Thank you for joining me in this demo. See you!